For all the talk about financial inclusions, experts say banks can't go at it alone. They'll need a little help from the from the techies. Beva Tividad spoke with 11FS CEO and founder David Breyer, and she began by asking him where change will come from. I think it's um, many, many things. I think if it was just one, they could probably fix it quite quickly. Um, I think we're, what we're seeing is a, a sort of a combination of, of technological, uh, cultural, uh, and, and many other pieces that are sort of playing into it. So while I think a lot of them have, have great aspirations to, to, to fix these things, and, and particularly when we're speaking about financial inclusion to actually address this market and uh, engage the, with the, that, those opportunities with, with that, that base, um, it's just not practical in sense of, of actually what they're, they're needing to do. So you know, while most banks are kind of facing into a swathe of uh, technological changes, a swathe of kind of regulatory pieces that they need to be dealing with, then uh, unfortunately financial inclusion is a, a very, very difficult thing for them to address. Uh, you know, the most fintech organisations start with a, an absolute blank sheet of paper in terms of what they're doing. Um, you know, there are lots of regulatory advantages in terms of uh, in terms of where we're going, and obviously from the UK's perspective, in terms of everything that things like the FCA and the, the UK government have been doing to to really sort of foster fintech and foster kind of alternative ways of doing banking. Um, I think that's a, you know a huge plus. But um, I'd, I'd sort of say from my perspective, you know, we see we see fintechs acting in the way that they believe that banking is, is kind of not done. You know. This, our mentality of kind of banking is, is only 1% finished is, is kind of the way that we sort of see, see fintech really sort of acting. Whereas, you know, from a bank's perspective, I think they sort of see it as it's kind of a mission accomplished and the, the products and services that have been created are, are the same. And this is now just about new distribution methods, which clearly it isn't. The challenge is clearly in terms of the implementation pieces, actually how you reach those customers are, are very unique, I think, in terms of uh, you know actually accessing people within the, the Philippines or whether that be Africa or China or, or wherever. Um, but from my perspective, I think the, the problems that banks are actually facing into with regards to uh, the cultural inhibitors in terms of actually what will allow them to achieve this change, um, the technological ones in terms of the, the barriers of adopting new technology and the, the legacy capability that they actually have within those organizations. Um, I think all of these things are very consistent when you're seeing them across them and, and clearly like we say from a fintech perspective these are the things that uh, you know the, the fintech players are not uh, are not sort of legacy uh, laden with uh, as, as well so um, you know while they don't have the customer base in terms of the the, the, the fintechs as opposed to the banks um, definitely they have all of the advantages. The beauty of, of fintech investment and the beauty of innovation is actually when the customer actually holds something in their hands which changes their day-to-day -day lives. Um, from, from my perspective, I think the, the future from a, a banking perspective is about collaboration with fintech.